Welcome back. Ever since I jumped into pop in 2019, I've hopped on the fan train for a bunch of bands, but honestly, I've also hopped off and lost interest in a few too. It's like having a favorite ice cream flavor. Sometimes you change your mind, and that's cool. Maybe you stop liking their music, or the excitement about the band members just fades away. It's totally fine to decide a band isn't your thing anymore. So, in this video, let's chat about some bands I've hopped off, but not at all from and why. It's like, you like them, but you don't like them at the same time. If you've been through the same thing, let me know. Okay, let's get started. Well, let's start with Dreamcatcher. Their unique sound had me hooked, but recently, my excitement has faded. Their new musical direction just doesn't click with me. And their recent tracks haven't hit that sweet spot like their earlier ones did, before. I'd be bopping to every single track in their albums, but now, I can't say the same. It's weird. Another reason for my drifting interest is that I didn't form that strong bond with Dreamcatcher that I did with some other groups. As new groups popped up, my attention naturally shifted. It's a bit sad, I admit. But it's like enjoying a certain flavor of ice cream until you find a new favorite. I still respect Dreamcatcher as artists, even if they're not in my stan list anymore. Blackpink? Oh, each how you were my pop gateway back into 019 to 020. It's not that their music has lost its charm, far from it. Blackpink's discography is a collection of catchy tunes that I can still groove to. Their songs are like comfort food, always enjoyable. The issue lies more in the lack of frequent comebacks and group activities. As someone who tends to lose interest relatively quickly, the extended periods of inactivity from Blackpink have made it challenging for me to sustain the same level of enthusiasm. Their music still resonates, and I hold great respect for the members' talents. However, the thrill that once accompanied each Blackpink release has somewhat faded. It's akin to the excitement you feel for an old friend you don't get to see often. The connection remains, but the spark isn't as bright. Despite this, I still acknowledge Blackpink's impact and significance in the pop landscape. Their achievements and influence are undeniable, and they remain a powerhouse group. My dwindling interest isn't a reflection of their abilities or artistry, rather. It's more about the frequency of their engagements in the industry. Yeah, New Jeans. It's not just about the music, it's about Min Heejin's involvement and the vibe of the fandom. As I learned more about Min Heejin and the questionable aspects of her history, I couldn't help but feel uneasy about the direction and concept of the group. Especially considering the members' ages, strangely enough. Even though I'm roughly around the same age as some of the younger members, this realization cast a shadow on my perception. But what pushed this discomfort to the next level was the fandom itself. It's possible that my experience is unique. But my interaction with the fandom hasn't been positive. There's a sense of entitlement among some fans that's hard to ignore. Some followers who identify as bunnies, and here's the twist, turned out to be some of the biggest detractors of Ive. A group I hold as my ultimate favorite. The constant defense of Hybe and Min Heejin's actions adds to this unsettling atmosphere. And speaking of the fandom, some fans within the Ninjins community can be shockingly toxic without any apparent reason. I've witnessed this firsthand, especially since I'm an Ive fan. It's disheartening to see them target other fandoms under the baseless claim of copying Nijin's concept. This negative aspect of the fandom makes me want to steer clear of that specific sphere. Things have been a bit uncertain lately. It's been a full year since their last comeback. And to be honest, I wasn't even that thrilled about their previous one. So, I'm kind of in a waiting game to see what they'll do next. It's interesting because Weekly used to be right at the top of my favorites list, especially during their after-school era. But as time went on, things started to shift. They kind of disappeared from the scene, and that definitely played a part in my waning interest. Newer groups also came onto the scene and stole my attention. If they drop some tunes that really catch my ear, 
I'm totally up for getting back into the weekly groove. Another factor that pulled me away was their sudden change in concept. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for artists evolving, but their switch felt abrupt, and I didn't vibe with it. It took some time, but I sort of warmed up to it. However, the departure of Jiyoon, who was a member I really liked, hit me hard, even though she wasn't my top bias anymore. She was still a big reason why I loved Weekly, so when she left, it was a bit of a downer. If Weekly releases music that brings back that spark, I'm totally open to rekindling my fan spirit. It's a wait and see game for now. Just remember, this video is about my experience, no harm intended, and I'm not dissing any bands. Tell me about your experiences in the comments. Thanks for watching.